lesson 11 is adding fractions, but now instead of our denominators being numbers, we now have variables. So we have to find a common denominator and then change each term such that that denominator is common. So to find a common denominator with variables, you have to look at all coefficients and all variables. The coefficients are 3, 1, and 1. So the common uh, denominator for 3, 1, and 1 would simply be 3. 3 is in this one. 3 is not in this one, so we'll have to multiply by 3 over 3. And 3 is also not in this one. Now we look at our variables. B is in all of them, so it is a common denominator already. Now, when, when we look at our variables, we have nothing there for z, and we have z to the third and z to the fourth. You're, gonna, you're going to choose the variable, moving the board a little bit, choose the variable with the largest exponent, and that is going to become your common denominator. So it's z to the fourth. So there's no z here, so we have to multiply both the numerator, well, we get from 3b to this denominator, we multiply by z to the 4th. So our numerator becomes z to the 4th m. To get from bz cubed to 3bz to the 4th, we have to multiply by 3z, both the numerator and the denominator. That's important for you to understand. The reason that we're not changing the terms is because effectively we are multiplying by 1. The same variable over the same variable equals 1. So we've got our denominator and 3z a k becomes our new numerator. Here all we had to do was multiply by 3 over 3 and we have 3y. Now what we can do is combine all of our numerators all of our terms with addition and subtraction in the numerator and write it all over the one common denominator. Now if we had any like terms in the numerator, we could then combine them. Okay, let's look at your um, problem A, your practice problem A on page 65. Actually, that was your practice problem A. Um, let's look at another one, okay? This one is A over B. So that was your practice problem A on page 65, okay? This is A over B minus 3B over A squared minus 2 over A, B, C. The only coefficient we have is 1, so we do not have to put any numbers in the denominator. Then let's look at our a's. The highest exponent is a squared. So that will be in our denominator. Our, our um, highest exponent for b is b. And we have 1c. So um, from b, we must multiply b times a squared C to get to A squared BC. So our numerator becomes A cubed, because remember we're adding 2 and 1 to get to A cubed C. Now how do we get from A squared to A squared BC? We multiply it by BC. So by BC over BC. And we get 3. Again, we're adding our coefficients B squared C. Now for this one, all we have to do is multiply it by a over a, and that gives us the a squared bc, and we have 2a. Again, we can um, add and subtract all of our numerators. That's a cubed c minus 3b squared c minus 2a over our one common denominator. And we have no like terms, so we cannot combine them. The second part of the lesson uh, deals with inscribed angles. If you'll remember from geometry, an inscribed angle is an angle 
that is inscribed are lies on the circle. And if this angle is 30 degrees, then the arc that it intercepts is twice the inscribed angle, which is 60 degrees. Okay, so if you have any questions on lesson, lesson 11, please email me.